first thing that we have to do is we need to create our project. I will be using Visual Studio 2022. Here we have the recent projects on the left and on the right hand side. We will get started. We want to start by creating a new project. So we will click that and it will display all of the templates. You can either navigate and try to find the template or you can just search here for model, views and controller. As soon as you type that, you see there are two templates that are available right here. We will be using the ASP.NET Core with c -sharp language. We do not want the other language. So select the c -sharp language or ASP.NET Core web app and we have model, views and controller. Let's hit the next button and we have few more options that we have to configure. Before writing the project name, we can give our solution a meaningful name. So let's say we are making our project for bulky book and in that you can have multiple projects. Like there can be data access layer, that can be business layer, that can be web layer and so on. So solution name, we can keep that as bulky book and then the project name, let's call this bulky book web. That way you can keep the project name and the solution name separated. Let me change the location to where I want to save on my computer and we will hit the next button. Final thing that we have to select here is the framework version. We will be using .NET 6 so we will select that in the first option. Next we have authentication type. When you click the authentication drop down there are individual users account, Microsoft identity platform and Windows. Right now we want to keep things simple and understand the basic folder structures of when an empty .NET Core MVC project is created. So we will select none inside the authentication. We will keep the configure for HTTPS selected. We do not want to enable Docker right now because we do not want to work with the containers. Then we have enabled Razor Runtime Compilation. What this flag will basically do is let's say if you make your change in some JavaScript file or CSS, you don't have to rebuild your project. You can keep your project running and you can go back and refresh. You will see the changes in the project as long as this flag is enabled. But as of now, there is a tricky part with this flag. It will work only on Razor pages and not in the MVC by default. So I will show you one line of code that you have to write to make sure that this actually works in an MVC application later on. With this configuration, let's create our project. It will take a while, but it will create the project and it will load all of the files and folders. Great. So once the project is created, it will load the complete view of Visual Studio. On the left side here, we have the main panel where we will be coding everything. And on the right side, we have Solution Explorer, Git changes if we want to commit, and some properties. Now by mistake, if you close the Solution Explorer here, do not panic. You can open it back up by going to Views here, and we have the first option, which is Solution Explorer. With that in place, let's continue from the next video.